live, we think. We hope. No. Welcome one more time, everybody. Eric Allard with Tilson Homes, joined in person by our director of marketing, Don Dantzler. Don Dantzler. Nice to meet you. Nice to see everybody. Welcome, Don. I know you're, it's, it's, everything's different. You're in Texas. This it's is very great. different. Yeah. It's wonderful. Okay. Well, we're so grateful that you're here. And we are going to do a tour today of the design center. We do not have time to go to every single little detail, but one of the most important parts of the home, once you get past kind of which design you like, where it's going to go on your property, now we've got to do something about what's it going to look like? What are we going to, yeah, not just put in it, but put on it. Yeah. So, you know, we've, we've talked a lot about foundations, we've talked a lot about framing, and we've got all kinds of videos about that, but um, we've never really done a very thorough video on everything we have to offer. Yeah, all these options. And so we probably won't get into every single one of them today, but we hope to, hope to give you guys a little bit of insight on kind of what the process looks like. The main thing is you need to know that we're here to help you every single step of the way. So again, Eric Allered, joined by Don Dancer, Tilson Holmes. We're live on Facebook. We're live on YouTube. This will be posted later. We're going to go through our design center here. We are in Spring, Texas. Um, but, and the main thing to understand is everything you have to pick is here. You're not going to have to go all over yes. creation. Very nice. So you're not going to be running from place to place, holding a little flooring sample, hoping that it matches up with your cabinets. Everything is in this room. So you're able to pick it all and make sure that it's going to coordinate. Awesome. Very so exciting. post your questions in the chat. It'll be a little more challenging for us to monitor the chat because we're going to have to go over there and take a look at it and, and come back and answer your questions. I'm going to get but my steps in today. <laughs> Dawn is going to get her steps in today. Uh, we're going to start off with the outside of the home and kind of work our way in is what we're going to do. So mm -hmm. Um, lots of different types of exteriors you can do. Of course, you'll, you've all seen our hardy plank siding. So we have some Sherwin Williams colors to pick from there. We're going to show you. We've got, um, of course, board and bat hardy. We've got a hardy plank siding, the horizontal siding. We have some plans that have the shake. Yes. On it. Yep. We got some hardy shake shingle siding. So uh, there's lots of options there. And of course, that's all painted with Sherwin Williams paint that we're that we're currently using. We also have brick. So we have acne brick. Um, the offerings vary from location to location, and that's really just based on where the manufacturing facility is. Mm -hmm. So the brick is no uh, of, of higher or lesser quality when you're talking about what the, the included brick versus what's optional brick. It really has to do from where that brick is coming from. So is it coming from Elgin? Is it coming from Mineral Wells? Is it coming, you know, so really it's the, the shipping, the freight right. um, that's involved. But uh, this looks like veneers, but your home is with full bricks. This is just so... Uh, the weaklings like me can pick it up so and, lift the and show people. So uh, what else do we have, Don? What other kind of exteriors can we show people? We have stone. So this is going to be all natural stone. Um, there will be some color variations because it's coming natural product coming out of the quarry. So we're, we have samples to try to show you to the best of our ability what it's going to look like. And we, these are full stones, yeah, full not stones. a veneer. And we also have uh, photographs of the various stones, uh, not only on the website, but we have books full of them, of, of uh, how the stone varies, so you can see the different variations to make sure that you're comfortable with it on the exterior of your home, because stone is a natural product, and mm -hmm. you know we didn't get to pick where it comes out of the quarry, but that's part of the appeal as well. Yes. Um, never look, never, never two that are alike. So you're gonna pick your exterior facade, whether that's the Sherwin-Williams painted hardy plank of some way, brick, stone, combination of all three. Also, there is stucco. So, um, some of our homes do have stucco siding on them. This is just kind of showing you some different uh, finishes or textures. And again, post your questions in the chat. We'll answer all the questions that we can, um, but showing you kind of the different, kind of the Monterey and Adobe finishes that we can do on stucco. And we do use the real uh, stucco that's put on the plywood with a metal lab and, and Portland cement. And then you're gonna start going inside the home. So starting with your exterior door, there are dozens of exterior door styles, uh, everything from fiberglass to uh, mahogany to knotty alder, but we offer uh, different types of glass finishes, different types of stain on the mahogany and on the alder. So that'll be the next thing that you select as you're going inside your home. And ask any questions you like, we're here to answer all of them. Oh, we forgot about windows. We did, we forgot windows. So we have, different window colors. There are three different colors um, that are offered in our included. Of course, we have just traditional white windows, which go quite well in a farmhouse. We have one known as pebble, 
of course, you're kind of seeing a, a double pane glass there. And then we also have clay. Clay. I think clay. Yeah. It's a little bit we darker. Have, so there's three different colors of windows to choose from. Um, and again, we offer assistance with all this. We don't just turn you loose in here and, and hope you come to the right decision. So No, you'll be meeting with a designer in every location who's going to sit down with you and go through all of these options for your home. Yeah. And it'll be a, a little longer drawn out process than what we're going to do today. We're going to do kind of a kind of a watered down a little bit. Rapid speed, warp speed, color selection. So if there's anything in particular that you guys want to see, please drop it in the comments and we'll make sure that we show it today because we're just going to try to fit in as much as we can. Um, in yeah, the because the, the, this part of the process is uh, not only obviously determines the pricing, uh, so a lot of this is done prior to contract, not necessarily the specific colors, but sometimes the levels. So you don't need to know mm -hmm. what exact color you're going to be selecting before you can get ready to start your process with Tilson. Uh, but your design consultant, your sales consultant can walk you through what, like the different levels and get it priced in? Yes. Yeah. Yep. Get your prices done. Okay. And so part of that, some of the most important, I mean, it's all important, obviously, because you you're going to be seeing it every day. Absolutely. Um, but some of the biggest questions that we get are on flooring, cabinets, countertops. Is that pretty fair? Yes. Everybody is very interested in what color all of those are. So we've pulled out some of the most popular ones. So let me move. All right. Move so the camera. Going here? All right. Yeah. So yeah, what we've done here is we've tried to, to put on display some different cabinet door styles. We've also put some um, different countertop colors. And, and folks, that we'll show you here in a minute, there are dozens more uh, countertop colors and, and cabinet door styles. But, um, you know, we kind of have a beadboard here. And of course, we offer that not only in the painted, but as well as the stain. Just a little bit. So here's yeah. your, your beadboard that's uh, painted, and we've got some different. Uh, these are actually quartz countertops. So we have some granite samples here, which of course is a naturally occurring material, so it's going to have variation. And then we have quartz. What? Why? 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 Someone go with white? Huh? Why? <laughs> why would white. you pick quartz instead of granite? Yeah. Um, you're just going to get a better color consistency if you're if you're somebody who really wants your countertops to be a solid color without a lot of variation, sure. and you want a predict you know more predictable look. You would go with a quartz versus a granite. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. So granite is going to have that natural color variation because it is a naturally occurring product. So uh, we also are showing some painted with a uh, kind of a black glaze on it, which is an option on on many of the paint colors. And we're showing it here with some uh, some of our level two vinyl plank. This is made by this is an Armstrong product. Um, this is known as peppercorn, which is uh, the Armstrong, yeah, rigid core. Uh, it's a great, great product. Uh, we put it in a lot of the, the model homes because it's just that bulletproof. Mm -hmm. um, and coming on around, we've got just a, a painted white cabinet, uh, which is really, really popular right now um, for the farmhouse style homes. Very popular, but. I want folks to know that we still have a lot of folks that choose more traditional. So you're stained, which is pretty timeless, right? So it really is. You've got, uh, and again, we, we've paired them up with some of these. And again, folks, we're going to help you through this whole process. We're not going to just make you sit here and and, and choose all these uh, absent some some guidance, some advice. So we help you with that. Uh, of course, we have in the model homes their full color palettes. Right? Mm -hmm. So you can see the cabinets, the countertops, the plumbing pictures, because really there's other things that tie all this together. And that's going to be your furniture and your um, curtains and accent pillows. And that's kind of really what you want to do your major splashes of color. Right? You don't want to do anything too wild, crazy on something that is, what, maybe more permanent? Yes. Don't, don't make your statement on a more permanent, expensive piece of your home. Do the things that are easy. Be trendy on the things that are easy to pull out and replace. It's, great, it's great. my my suggestion. Great we advice. do have a few questions that okay. have come in. We'll give it a shot. Let's, let's do some of those. Um, Brianna is asking if our selections can be made remotely, and if so, can samples be mailed to verify choices? That is a great question, Brianna. We've actually, as far as I know, we've done that one time that I know of. Um, so... The answer is yes, it can be done. Uh, we'd want to be sure we have a thorough process set up for verification for you uh, and be sure that the samples are, are, are really, really good examples of, what, of what's going to be going in, So, uh, which we've done a pretty good job in all these anyway, but 
yeah, I'm not going to say I'm not going to rule that out. I mean, the new world we're in, you know, Absolutely. Um, that's something. If we don't, if we don't have a way to do it, we will figure that out this year. Great. Um, Lupe is asking if we can talk some about the what's included versus what's an upgrade. I can, Lupe. So it actually varies from from plan to plan a little bit. We do have kind of some different series, kind of like our heritage series and be a designer and then premiere, but. Uh, for the most part, for sure, you're going to get the um, what we refer to as, as level one is pretty much going to be included in uh, all of our homes. So that's your level one carpet in most of your common areas, uh, level one ceramic tile. I'm sorry, carpet in your yeah common areas. Level common one ceramic areas tile. Common areas and bedrooms. Yeah, common areas and bedrooms. Uh, level one ceramic tile in your wet areas. Uh, you are going to get granite countertops throughout the home. So your kitchens, your bathrooms, all those are going to be granite countertops no matter what. You have a tile backsplash in the kitchen. You actually a little four-inch splash in the bathrooms. Um, Delta plumbing fixtures. We didn't get into those yet, but your uh, your chrome Delta plumbing fixtures is going to be the included. And then you have, of course, we offer stainless and we offer bronze. So a couple of different samples of that. Um, what else? There's there's several different stain colors of the cabinets that are included in the level one, and several different door styles. So we were kind of showing you. This has kind of an arch top. Ooh, see a lesser accurate would have dropped that. Not this guy. Not this guy. The agility of a mongoose. This awesome. Um, and then we have so there's some different styles that are included. Um, painted cabinets would be an option. Um, so there's a couple options in the what we refer to as level two, and then we have level three and and, on, and four on into cabinets. Um, the quartz would be an option because granite's going to be included. So we also have style stone that's available, uh, which is the brand name of of quartz. Uh, what else is going to be standard? So uh, some of the plans do have the mahogany and, and knotty alder doors included as standard. Others are going to have fiberglass doors that are painted. Many plans have stone that's included standard. A lot of the D elevations mm -hmm. um, are going to have stone included. Otherwise, they're going to have party plank or brick included. Uh, didn't talk about the shingles very much, but the Owens Corning Oak Ridge shingles are included. This happens to be the Onyx Black. This is the same color that's on the LaSalle model home. And those are what's called an architectural shingle. So they've got some depth to them. Oh yeah, yeah, they, they're they pretty substantial. They have a limited lifetime warranty on them, in fact. They have a, a 110 mile an hour wind resistance limited warranty. So it is not your, your none of the stuff that we use is gonna be your ordinary builder grade mm -hmm. um, that, that you would you would see. Frigidaire stainless steel appliances are gonna be included. Uh, we offer Electrolux and a couple of different other options. So there's lots and lots of things that are included. We, we haven't gotten into the AC systems and yeah. all that, which is not for today, but that's a great that's question, Lupe. And, uh, <laughs> we, can, we can sort that out for you. All right. And then Rosemary is asking if she can have one color quartz in the kitchen and another in the bathroom. You absolutely can. Yeah. And then same question on cabinets. And yes, yes, you absolutely can. So you can upgrade your kitchen cabinets if that's important to you. Do those a different color, do them a different uh, sure. door style and change it out in your bathrooms. Awesome. Thank you for great asking. Question. We appreciate you watching. Let's see, Jennifer also has a great question. She wants to know if the glass on the windows is tinted and also do we offer steel front doors? Great question. Okay, so I'll talk. To, I'll do the steel front doors first. We don't have any options for steel front doors. Um, not to say that we couldn't find a vendor that does that. I believe that our vendor um, does have a supplier for steel. We just haven't had a lot of demand for it, so we can certainly look into that. If there's something specific that you want, let us know. And then on the windows, yes. So all the windows are going to be uh, a double pane vinyl tilt sash window. Windows not smashing the. Uh, and what the. So the bottom sash is going to move up and down. They do have little tabs in them, so you can clean them in from the inside, tilt them in from the inside, clean that. Um, and you can count, they do kind of have a green little tint. Now what that is, is the low E coating. So all of our windows have a low E. You can kind of see it's a little bit, little bit kind of a green, maybe hard to see on the camera. But yes, they have a low E coating, which stands for low emissivity, or is it something is emitted. So um, it does, what it, Put very simply, it allows light to pass through and blocks the UV rays back out. So it's actually one of the panes inside is tinted on one of these two panes on the inside and it bounces the UV rays, like 97% of them, back out to the outside. So the, the theory being you don't have as much of that radiant heat. Of, and, and also if you set a purple couch in front of these in eight years, it will still be a purple, purple couch. couch. So, uh, but yeah, great question about the, uh, the windows. They do have a slight low E. It's really hard to see um, 
outside in the daylight, but kind of at the right angle, you, you can see. I was cheating a little bit, setting up for the next question. Oh, good. Um, because Laurie was cheating. asking if we, can, if we can look at the style stone. Sure. So let's move the camera to there. Um, and then I'll also answer, um, Vilio was asking if we have a design center in Katy, and yes, we do. Um, all of our sales center locations have a design center room similar to this. Um, so wherever you've been meeting and signing your contract, that is where you will also do your college selections. So yeah, we're probably looking at, gosh, I'm going to say 35 or so different uh, style stone colors that you see here. So there's, there's, uh, and they vary in levels too. They, you know, level one style stone all the way up to level five style stone. Um, so there, there's, there's quite a, quite a few different. I mean, something for everyone's taste is going to be available for the style stone. So I don't make a lot of noise. I hope that doesn't bother you on whatever device you're watching on. But yes, yeah, suffice it to say, there's there's all kinds of style stone samples we have available. The colors are on the back, most of which I cannot pronounce. <laughs> Ceridium. I don't, know, I don't know who names these things. Man, somebody in some dark closet somewhere. I don't know. <laughs> no, that and paint color names. I don't know. It's got to be a fun job, though. But yeah, hopefully that answered your question about the soft stone, but there's there's lots of different, uh, lots and lots of options. Lots of options there. Great question. Kimberly is asking if we don't have the style of certain things, um, like faucets, for example, can we source a different different style. Okay, so we we were prepared. We were, we talked about this. What's the, this, what's this, the, comes, this comes up a lot. The odds are not good on that, but it actually worked this time. Yeah, what's the short answer? So the short answer is yes, you can source them. We, we would encourage you, you know, we've worked with our vendors and our manufacturers to put together a smaller selection. We don't want to overwhelm you with every dowel tile option um, or every delta faucet option. So we have a select number that we've already priced out for you um, and that we already have negotiated the labor on with, with our subcontractors. So we know exactly what they're going to cost for you. Um, if there is something that you want that's not within our color room, um, we can absolutely look into getting that for you. It would just take us a little bit longer to get that pricing because we have to make sure that it's something that our vendors feel comfortable with. Specifically on faucets, it is going to need to be a Delta faucet. Um, that we put in. We do have contracts of exclusivity with them. So anything that you're looking at that you don't like what we're offering, we would need to find it from a, a similar manufacturer, the same manufacturers. Yeah. And, and you know, again, to, just to, for simplicity's sake, we don't show every single um, faucet that Delta offers. Right. Because right, I mean, it, it's it, a lot. It would be very overwhelming, not just for our, our employees, our consultants, our design center folks, but really for the, the consumer. I mean, you know, Delta probably has 40 different uh, faucets. I will say some of which, um, not the ones that we on their website, but if you go to like uh, one of the big box stores websites, some of those are specific to them. They have their own SKUs that mm -hmm. the Moens, the Deltas, the Kohlers of the world make and, for them. And be careful with that because sometimes they'll have the same names. Faucets in particular are one area where what you're buying in a big box store is not the same as the builder. Um, Eric made a comment about builder grade. Builder grade on faucets is actually better than what you're going to buy in a big box store, even if it has the same name because they make the big box store ones for amateur installation, install, install, installation, sorry. So the, there's gonna be more plastic parts um, versus what a builder and professional would install in your home. Yeah, so we'll have the valves that go in first, of course, during the, the rough end stage, and then the, the trims, as we call them, the parts that you see, uh, those are married up to those valves specifically. And so they're, you get a better, little better warranty with them and, and certainly better performance. So you wanna be careful when you're looking at just trims, which you'll find the box stores, which are designed for remodeling. Sort of. So great question. Yes. But yeah, if there's something that you see that you want that you don't see in our color room, let us know. There's a really good chance that we can source it. Perfect. Lance is asking about the ballpark price for adding a fireplace to models that don't have it standard. Well, it depends. My favorite answer is the whole thing. So, and there's uh, a wide range. There's a wide range, yeah. And and the reason for that is, you know, so there's wood burning, which would be your least expensive, probably starting at, at at least four to five thousand dollars for a wood burning fireplace. Of course, that's not just the fireplace itself, right? That's the fireplace. That's some kind of hearth in front of it. That's some kind of surround. That's the chimney for to some degree. So it, there's it's more than just the box mm -hmm. itself of the fireplace. And then all the way up to over ten to twelve thousand dollars for I think we have one called the Constitution, which is a wood burning, but it's doors that can close and seal, and that's for energy rating purposes. Uh, then we have some gas fireplaces that are kind of in the middle there, mm -hmm. that are uh, between 
four and seven thousand dollars. So somewhere between five to ten is going to get you very very close to getting a fireplace in a house that doesn't already have one. Great question. Perfect. Let's see. Becky is asking how much can we expect to pay for a metal roof, uh, a home of approximately two thousand square feet. And she's assuming they get some credit for not using standard shingles. Yeah, she would get some credit for not using standard shingles. The, the metal roof on a, on a home that size is probably going to run you close to $30,000 in lieu of a standard shingle roof. Uh, metal roofs, particularly standing seam, which is all that we will use, are very expensive compared to uh, architectural dimensional shingles. And, and quite frankly, you can't get a lifetime warranty on a metal roof like you can with shingles. We do have uh, other op options or upgrades of shingles available. Um, so, and really, if you want a metal roof, it really needs to be just because the aesthetics. You just have to have it because of the way it looks, in which case it has to be really, really important to you because I, I haven't seen one in recent history come in less than twenty-two dollars to $25,000 on a, a smaller house. So, it's just a, it's an expensive option. Great question, though. Thanks for asking. Right. Thank you. Um, Jennifer is asking if any driveway or walkway paths are included in our prices. Depends on where you got the pricing from, and it depends on where you're building. So in, um, if you're just looking at the base pricing on the internet, on our, on our website, that price is not going to have flat work, what we call flat work, which is the four inch thick concrete with steel in it, driveway sidewalks. That's not going to be included in those prices, simply because we never know if you're building on you know, a 50 foot wide lot, 20 feet off the road, or in the middle of 500 acres and you're a quarter mile off the road. So uh, we price that typically at point of sale or at the stakeout appointment. Uh, but there are some subdivisions that we build in and cities that we build in that when you come in, if you've gotten the pricing for one of the design center offices and you were specific about what city or subdivision in which you were building, there's a very good chance that that may very well have had uh, some driveway, at least two car, in some cases all the way up to 2,000 square feet of flat work in some of the subdivisions in which we build. Okay. So. And um, Laurie was asking on the Silestone if they have these options in Katy. Um, yes, everything that you are seeing that we have here today, with the exception of the brick, um, should be the same across all of our design centers. Right. Um, and the difference, like Eric was saying, on the brick is just where it's actually being, being shipped in from. Um, Maria is asking about our warranties for workmanship and how long those last. All right, so that's a, the, you have one, two, and ten is basically how that works. And so it's a... One year, what I call brick to brick, because it's the easiest way to compare it to a car manufacturer's bumper to bumper. So everything that you can see, touch, smell, feel, look at inside the home is it got a one-year warranty offered. And now this is all specific to Tilson. This is this is this is apart from manufacturer's warranties, like the shingles have a limited lifetime warranty, the windows have a limited lifetime warranty, the plumbing fixtures have a limited lifetime warranty. Actually, the brick has a hundred and one year warranty. The brick has hundred and one. They're not willing to do lifetime, <laughs> not lifetime. Only a hundred and one years. So um, one year, everything you can see, to, that's, that's your settling cracks, that's crack tile, that's that kind of stuff. Um, that's covered for a year. And then two year on all your, your HVAC, your electrical, and your plumbing. And again, that's still just through Tilson. That doesn't include the manufacturer's warranties um, from, from Linux or from Train or from you know, Delta, whoever's doing that, the PEX, all those have their own manufacturer's warranties. And then there's a 10 year structural warranty. So that's your slab, frame, that kind of performance. That's warranted for 10 years by Tilson Homes. But we have our own warranty department, and you call a Tilson warranty department, and a Tilson employee answers the Tilson phone, and a Tilson employee shows up in a Tilson vehicle to fix your Tilson home. It's not some third party contractor. Okay. And then we have two similar questions um, from Rosemary and Vanessa. They are asking if there's a particular style, their specific examples are sink and light fixtures. Can they buy it and have somebody else install it or install it themselves? Right. Great question. And that would typically need to be done after the house is completed. So. Uh, we don't install customer provided items and our reasoning for that, I want to get to the why, right? Why Absolutely. Not? So it's not because we don't want to and don't love you. Of course we love you. Um, and the, we love you so much that we want you to be happy ultimately with the way the product performs. We have no idea where these things have been sourced from. Uh, we don't know what the warranty is behind them. Going back to the question just before that, mm -hmm. um, certainly things that are bought on, not to disparage Amazon, they're a great company perform very well, but I, I don't know where they source their items. I have had customers that have gotten into fight with right. who, where did it get broken? Who did it wasn't installed properly? Why is it leaking? It destroyed the floors and three rooms of the house. It came with missing parts. How do we return well, it? You know, yeah, we don't, we don't want y'all to be stuck in the middle of a fight with a vendor. Like, so it's just easier if we, we order it, we take care of it. We know everything came. It's one person to deal with rather than 
having to come back to you guys and say, oh, this has missing parts. Right. And, and then yet, you know, the, the tub that you found in, in Round Top at the antique show, we're not going to install that. I mean, that, that's got to be, it's got to perform uh, properly with modern fixtures and modern code requirements, all those kind of things. Now, what you want to do after the fact, you know, mm -hmm. it's, it's your home. Do whatever you want to do. In there. Okay, this is a free country. But it's still a free, it's still a free country. So on paper, <laughs> but all that to say, you know, tell it, give us a good idea of what you're after. And there's a very, very good chance that we can source it. And if we can't source it, we're going to source something so close that you probably, uh, unless you're just that emotionally attached to something, which I would always caution um, with with things like this. But mm -hmm. um, it, it, there's a very good chance that we can source it and you'd be very, very happy with it. And we'd much rather it be on us. Let, like, let us work that out with the vendor. Let us be on the hook if something goes wrong with it. That's why we're here. Um, we want it done right because we want you to enjoy the home for a long, long time. Wonderful. So we want to move on to flooring. Yes, let's move on to a little bit of flooring. Um, I'll, walk, I'll walk slowly so we don't have any Blair Witch Project stuff going okay. on. So Bear, yeah, guys, I'll, thank you all so much for I'll doing this and, and working with us. This is our first one we've tried to do where we're not standing in front of... Um, so and remember, we build houses. We are not AV right. we professionals. Are, we are not AV so professionals. We're doing our best. So we've got a little bit of granite going on here. We've got some granite and some quartz, various colors. Um, there's there's a lot of a lot of options available. Of course, that also goes along. And there's there's also different edge profiles. I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see it here, but you've got uh, kind of a beveled edge there. We've got kind of a waterfall edge, a squared edge, and then a um, more of a rounded all the way bullnose edge. So um, anyway, you're going to select that as well. And then we'll move along. And you can also, sneaking behind him, there's some more cabinet samples, oh, yeah. but they were a little bit more difficult to see, but just the more options that we have. All on the more side. reason you should come into our design center. Absolutely, we'll come visit us. So coming around, we'll look at some of our tile. We have an overwhelming, in my opinion, amount of tile, but just the right amount for most. So there we go. Um, as we said before, tile is going to be included in all of the wet areas of the home. So your utility rooms, your foyers, your kitchen, breakfast rooms, bathrooms, of course. And it also goes around the shower surrounds, tub decks, mm -hmm. shower floors. We don't use the fiberglass pans on the floors. Those are ugly. Um, as far as flooring goes, if you prefer the luxury vinyl plank that we show a lot, there's also, you could substitute out that ceramic tile for a level one. Yeah, vinyl yeah a level one vinyl plank is going to be the same price as yeah. your, uh, so your that's, level one. That's included. Tile. But look at these. i got to bring these over because this is, this is i got to tell you, as a kid who's grown up at Tilson, this is so far. These are brand new, right? These are brand new, brand new. Yeah, we yeah. just got this added to part of our program. Um, this is, this is, uh, Tilson's come a long way. Yeah. I will say that. Um, it's a good thing. So we enjoy kind of branching out and seeing some of this new stuff that we're seeing. And we're going to bring some of the deco tiles over here as well. Yeah. But we've really got cool. some 12 by 24. Yeah, those are 12 by 24. So we, we see these a lot, not only on the floors, but we're seeing a lot of this installed around, um, shower walls, things like that. Um, we've got some of our models, but yeah, there's. There's a lot of options. A lot of options. Let me put this here. I'm going to go show also the uh, some of this porcelain tile that actually looks like marble. Let's see if I do it without breaking it. Y'all might get to see me break break tile online. Please don't break it. So just beautiful stuff that we offer um, that would go very well in mm -hmm. a wide variety, right? I mean, we have something for everybody, huh, Don? Absolutely. If you prefer the the wood look ceramic tile, we have wide selection of colors in that as well. As we're being very careful to yeah, put everything back. Yeah, we're trying to break this stuff. Because it's hard to deny it whenever, you know, everybody sees. Yeah. So, um, but what, what you're going to see is, you know, we've put together what we believe is a really good collection. We've got our designers with um, Dow Tiles designers. Mm -hmm. and so we can try to keep up with modern trends, but still make it where it'll appeal to. Everybody. A little, little something to appeal to everyone. Absolutely. So we've got. We can show carpet. Okay. Did we want to? Did you want to show mosaic? Oh, I did want to show. Thank you. Thank you for reminding me. Yeah. So also brand new part of our new collection. Will you grab that one? Sure. Okay. And I'm going to show this because this is. So these shower floors. This is now we have all kinds of different ones, but 
We just got this in. These are level one. So if, you're, if your home has a separate shower in the master, or you've done a shower in the master or in the secondary bath, anywhere, these would be available for you. Um, and then, of course, you've got options to go to different herringbone patterns. Uh, we've got some other backsplash tiles here. Don's showing some more of our accent tiles. So we see this quite a bit uh, along like kitchen backsplashes or as a row around a shower or around a tub. Very pretty. Yeah, we're seeing a lot of that use. And of course, we have copious amounts that's a big word, that is a of big word. Subway, subway tile. tile. Yes, everyone's favorite subway tile. And what's uh, kind of cool is all of the colors are the same price on the subway tile, which I know is not typical. So you can pick any of the colors that you want. Yeah, so this is kind of your traditional three by six. Uh, of course, this is it in the flat. And this is it. It's hard to maybe tell, but there's a bevel on that. Which is a real nice touch. Gives a lot of little texture to your backsplash. Um, lots of different colors. So if you got kind of a white countertop you've gone with and you want more of a gray, light gray or dark gray backsplash, you can do that mm -hmm. uh, very easily. Yeah, I saw one I really liked that did this waterfall and it looked kind of like a sea glass um, hmm. kind of look. So it's really pretty. Very cool. Reminds me of when I was working at the Houston office in 1998. Aww. All we offered was four by four glossy tile. <laughs> Things Everything comes back around. Let's see what we've got as far as questions. If you have go. any more questions, I'd be glad to answer them. We have lots of questions waiting for us. Oh, good. I hope our wireless mics are working well. Y'all give us some feedback on um, if you can hear us or not. How that, hopefully, you can hear us by now because we've been doing this for half an hour. <laughs> there um, won't be a lot of feedback if they can't hear us. <laughs> <laughs> or all of our feedback would be, I can't hear you. Um, Alyssa is asking if there is a wide price range to add cathedral ceilings to a living area. Um, it is kind of by the square foot of the room, so I guess it could. I mean, depending on if it's a bedroom versus like a family room and, and porch, but no, so usually somewhere in the in the $1,500 to $2,500 range is going to get you very, very close. And then a little bit more if you want to add the beams. For sure, yeah. If you want to add some wood beams to go with it, that's going to be more than that. But yeah, great question. Thanks for asking. And thanks for watching. NDFC is saying thank you for doing these videos. Thank you so much for, for, for tuning in. Thanks for watching, yeah. Um... One of our YouTube fans is asking if we can do the Mexican clay roofs. So we have had pricing on, on clay tiles, just so a Spanish tile or clay tile. I've actually even seen us install concrete tile, uh, caladium. It's, it's a, I didn't know that was a thing. It's a thing. Yeah, it's a thing. They make concrete stone. Um, so we've done it. Um, we, a lot of our plans, it, we don't, you know, we'd have to really change up the way the elevation looks. We don't have a lot of the Mediterranean style, which is what that typically appeals to. So um, we don't have a, a standby vendor or, you know, an option in our color room to do that, but it is something that we could look into and get pricing for. It probably would not be uh, any more than a metal roof, um, but the main thing would be to see if we make sure that we have a style that will accommodate it on the elevation of the home. Okay, that makes sense. Um, Teresa is asking if the septic tank is included in the price of the home. So, again, if you've gotten pricing from one of our design centers for a specific subdivision, we do have pricing that's uh, for septic systems, aerobic septic systems, and conventional septic systems, depending on where you're building. But the, the prices that are on the Internet, like the website pricing where it gives kind of that range, that's not going to have septic tank pricing including because not all of our customers need a septic system. So, um, and, they, and they vary quite widely across the state. They can be more than double in, in the Hill Country versus what they are, maybe North Texas or the Gulf Coast area. Great question, though. Great. We have pricing for most of our counties in which we build for septic systems. Perfect. Um, Crystal and Derek are asking if we offer solar screens on windows or, or a dark tint that you can put over the window. We actually don't. We don't have a vendor currently that, that does solar screens. We've, we've had folks do them before. Um, of course, they're all going to have screens on them, but we don't have any kind of solar screens or tinting that we put on. I'd probably veer away from the, the tinting just because I think it can, it can mess with the... the um, radiant heat that's uh, coming into that window because you got a double pane window. I want that seal to be not messed with and I don't want a bunch of heat to build up. So I'd, I'd, if I had to choose between the two, I'd probably steer towards a solar screen of some sort. But there's not a lot of heat coming in to these windows anymore with the double pane vinyl that we have and with the low E glass. It's, it's, it's kind of why we don't have a vendor because it's, it's not really yeah. an issue as much as anymore. It used to be when you had old aluminum windows that were single pane or did not have any kind of low E coating on them. It was a problem then. But. 
Um, Mandy is asking if we build full custom homes. She's already had a drafter draw up her plans with electrical and elevation on the, so wondering if we can build it on the property that she owns. Yeah, so you can bring us the plan. We'd be glad to take a look at it. We'll let you know if it's in our wheelhouse or not. I mean, certainly we have built plans that look nothing like anything that's in our portfolio at all. Uh, we have some on contract now that look nothing like anything in our portfolio at all. Um, but but it's uh, you know going to really just depend on the design itself and to make sure that we're a good fit mm -hmm. for for what that design is. So, but we can tell you. I mean, if it's you know seven or eight thousand square feet and Mediterranean and Spanish tile roofs, it's probably not for us. We're probably not the best builder for you. But if it's you know eighteen hundred to thirty five hundred square feet and it looks like what you see on our website as far as elevation goes, I mean that's usually what I would steer you towards when you're looking at any builder at all. You know, I mean, if you're bringing something to a builder that you don't see anything on their website. Uh, or then their portfolio that they look like, you, you know, it's probably going to be a struggle for you and for them. And that's not going to be a good experience. But alternatively, if it's simply just like, well, no, this is just the floor plan. I like just exactly the way it is. And this, then we can probably handle it. Perfect. Um, Jen had asked for us to show the kitchen backsplash. And I think that was probably before we did. But okay. if there's, if we missed it and there's anything you're, you specifically want to look at, please comment again and we will, we will come back around to Glad it. Glad to do that, yeah. Um, Vanessa is asking about mirrors. Um, if they don't want the standard mirrors that come with the home, can they have their own put up or can we just not install mirrors and have them put it in later? That is something that, yeah, we have done quite a bit. Will you go grab There's. I the, will. Okay. So Dawn's going to grab because we can make the mirrors look like mirrors that you bought maybe at an art gallery or something. Is it a mirror gallery or art gallery? Where do you buy mirrors? I don't know. Anyway. In Houston, you buy a lot of hardware. Amazon. That's where we go. <laughs> Amazon, I guess. Wayfair. <laughs> Wayfair. Okay, so these are some of the different frames that we offer for our mirrors. So you can have them just completely frameless, uh, mm -hmm. which is how a lot of folks do it, or you can get them framed in any of these as well uh, to give it a completely different look, more of a furniture type of look, if that's what you're after. But then, yes, to answer your question, we have had customers that on the plans, you know, that's something that we don't need to have at closing to get the home closed. Right. A mortgage company is not going to... They're kind of indifferent, like, hey, maybe maybe my customer's not that vain. They don't need to see themselves all the time. They just look good. That's how it is. <laughs> they don't care. So They look like Eric. They're great. Oh, we don't need the mirror. You do not want a mirror. Um, <laughs> so anyway, in, in a case like that, yes, we can leave the just the sheetrock textured and and no mirror whatsoever. We've done that for a number mm -hmm. of customers. But if you're looking for alternatives, we, we can do that as well. Perfect. These Velcro. They are. They do. That's so handy. Clever. What other questions do we have? Let's Dancing. see. So Lisa nice says, here. thank you for taking the time to do these videos. Lisa, thank you so much Thanks for taking for the time to tune in. Um, she is asking about the final timeline during the process that a client would have to make selections or changes to design options. That is a wonderful That's question. That's an excellent question. Yeah, thank you for asking that. So um, what we typically do is we set up uh, the, the appointment to do the colors after you've done your initial agreement, your, your, your contract. Um, and again, knowing that going in, you've, you've kind of got some idea at least to the level, like you've taken more than one or two victory laps around this room. Yeah, you're gonna take a trip around this room and kind of have an idea of what level at least you want if you haven't picked the exact color yet. Yeah, and really once you've picked the level, you have kind of by, by process of elimination narrowed it down to probably six or seven different colors just within that level scheme. So, uh, you know, if you've picked level four tile, you're really only gonna need to focus like right here or something. You know, you don't have to worry about anything else that you've seen. So in those cases, well, in all cases, what you're going to do is set an appointment with in, for the design center selection time. Um, it's usually a three-hour appointment. Um, highly, highly encourage people to do it during the week. Uh, so because as it's you quiet. Can, it's quiet. There's no one, really very few people here. In the weekends, it's, there's a lot of folks running through. So it's kind of distracting and a lot of privacy. Mm -hmm. um, but anyway, so at a three-hour time period, you finalize all those selections. And then... You know, really, we, we do like to kind of have it pretty well buttoned up um, at that point. Now, does that mean that you can't make any changes whatsoever? Of course not. Uh, you can absolutely make changes. Once we go into construction, it's, we really prefer not to make any changes at that time. There is a time frame, a cutoff during, before we go to construction, where it's going to cost money to, to make a change. Uh, and the reason for that is, is we actually start cutting all these things, particularly now more than ever. That's a phrase. Yes. <laughs> there are lead times on lots of things. Brick has an eight-week lead time. The cabinets, they're not, they're not sitting in a factory. Like, they are built, so they have an eight- to ten-week lead time. Mm -hmm. um, everything in here has a lead time associated with it, so we can't, we can't just wait until, oh, we like the way 
the cabinets are like, now let's, let's go pick some floors. Like, a lot of custom builders operate like that. And it's, it's, that would be so stressful. It's helter skelter. It's awful. Um, cause you're under stress and then you decision like right now, right now, as opposed to do right. it's all done in one room with all the colors out there. You've got a real good comfort level of what's going to be. Mm -hmm. And and then you can just sit in your, you know, easy chair and watch it all happen. So once we do start construction and even really just a, a little time before that, we do charge for you to make changes, particularly if we've already started cutting POs because we have to send stop orders, stop work orders to different facilities to have them stop doing what they're doing, quit allocating things. Um, and then definitely once we're in construction, it's going to cost to make changes. Um, so we really tried to deter it. It's not to say that it doesn't happen, guys. This is real life. This is a custom yeah. home. We know it happens. So we are realistic. We're reasonable. Um, it's typically a $200 change order fee if, if it's something that's, that's already kind of that, that horse has left the barn. Um, now, structural changes is a different deal. Um, if we have to go back to engineering, go back and reframe the home uh, from, a, from a digital standpoint and get it re-engineered, that's more than it's about a $1,000 charge. Do something like that. Yeah. Basically enough for us to pay the engineer to do their work all over again. So something yeah. to think about. I do want to talk about one thing that you said about, you know, right now cutting POs and all of that. Mm -hmm. um, we mentioned, you mentioned earlier not to get too attached to anything. Um, we are trying to cut POs and do everything earlier in the process now because we are seeing a lot of manufacturers running out of certain options. So that's one reason we, we do want to cut you off a little bit faster so we can order it and make sure you're going to get what you want. Um, we also ask you guys to please grant us some flexibility. We're not going to change anything without your permission. But if we get to the end and that exact tile color isn't available, we've got something close, we may ask you um, to make that substitution so you can get close. But if you don't want to, we'll wait. Of course. Um, yeah. So a great that's a great point, Don. Thanks for saying that. Because, you know, case in point, you know, let's say that this tile that you've selected is manufactured at a facility in Guadalajara, Mexico. Two, two folks test positive down there. They're going to shut that plant down. They're not making any more of that tile. Mm -hmm. And we may say, okay, well, if you want to close in the next six to eight weeks, you know, let's move over to something that's maybe manufactured in Laredo or manufactured somewhere else in a facility that's still going and give you that option. Again, if you have chosen an actual color because you're going to sign off on these, yeah. we will not change that color without your permission. Um, and that, and it won't cost anything either. Of course, if it's something that's discontinued or unavailable, we would never. We, we actually, our contract precludes us. We cannot do that. Yeah. So you can rest assured knowing that that you would be notified of any of those kind of changes that need to be done. Great question. Wonderful question. How many stacked up while we were answering that one? Uh, quite a few, I think. Oh, we good. See what we've got going on. Good. Um, Nate is asking about choosing appliances. Great question, Nate. Uh, so the Frigidaire line is what we have. We have Frigidaire, Frigidaire Gallery, Frigidaire Professional, Electrolux. Those are what we use probably 95% of the time. Not to say that we can't get other. That is one that we can get other manufacturers. But Frigidaire and Electrolux are what we kind of what we like a lot. Um, we stay in that wheelhouse. So all the homes are going to come included with stainless. So all your built-in. So your depending on the plan, it's going to vary a little bit. But your range. So your one-piece range, either electric or gas your microwave hood combo or some type of a bit hood, uh, whether it's a wall canopy mount or microwave, and then also your dishwasher, of course. And then some of the plans are going to have a cooktop with separate ovens, sometimes single oven, sometimes double oven. We have convection ovens. We have dual fuel ranges. We've got a lot of appliances. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's a whole day of fun. <laughs> All right. Great perfect. question. Um, Elise is asking, she says she is under contract with us and she's wanting to finance well and septic with the mortgage. And they've been told that the way that that works is that she needs to pay for it out of pocket and then we will reimburse her after construction starts. She's wondering if there's another option um, that allows us to just take care of those things so she doesn't need to pay out of pocket. Yeah, so it's going to depend on the equity position a little bit, Lisa. And I don't know the exact situation, but what you've been told is accurate. That's typically how that works. Now with septic, um, it's a little bit different deal because it's done significantly later in the process. Um, water well, same thing. It can actually be done after construction begins. So uh, what we're really trying to prevent is from, uh, if, if you're contracting them yourselves, which it sounds like you're doing, uh, so that you're reaching out to the well contractor, you're reaching out to your own septic contractor. We're really trying hard to prevent you from getting taken advantage of in that process. We, we are very opposed to giving any contractor money up front for a job. We don't get paid till oh, a dime until the whole house is completely finished. We feel like if we can afford to build an entire house without getting paid for it, 
somebody should be able to put a well in without getting paid for it until it's completely done. So I, I always caution folks against working with contractors who ask for payment up front, any amount of payment up front. I don't like it. Um, a lot of folks, I need half up front, half when it's done, or I need half the septic cost right now, and then I'll need the other half when it's finished. If they're the only option, they're the only option. I, I find that very hard to believe. I don't like working with, with folks who require that. I'm not despairing to them as contractors. They probably do a great job. I, I have a fundamental philosophical belief that if you cannot afford to do something and then get paid when it's finished, then you probably can't afford to be in business. So that's really what that's that is fair. all about. Um, Kimberly is asking us if we have blue cabinets. So yes, this is one of our new options. This is our blue. Um, it is one of the new colors that came on board um, when we went with Kent Moore and switched over. So this is called nautical blue, um, and that is available for you. I feel like I want to go sailing, having seen that cabinet. <laughs> Something else. All right, let's see. We see that it'll use a lot as an accent piece. Yes. Usually as like an island. It is an island, or if you wanted to do your upper and lower cabinets a different color. Yeah. Um, it's also kind of cool in studies if you're doing built-ins. Um, looks nice there. Um, people work from home these days? Is that a thing? That is a thing. Okay. Believe it or not. Sometimes more people than should be working out of one home. <laughs> but um, to design that. Vanessa is asking if we have stained concrete color samples in the showroom. Um, we do, but they're so hard to see. We, I, I looked at them in the portfolio. They're really hard to see on the camera. But yes, we have some stained concrete options. Um, they're kind of in a, in a portfolio. What will actually happen when, um, when it comes to that time is the stained concrete contractor will come out and usually they'll do a spot like in a closet or somewhere that's a little bit inconspicuous. Um, and they'll maybe do two or three different uh, kind of shades of it and then ask you to, to, to pick one that you like and kind of go with that. That is something that is a high, high, high color variation. Very much so. Um, I mean, we some of these tiles claim to be a high color variation or a random color variation. There is nothing that varies more than stained concrete. Uh, you could probably go out to your garage or out to your porch right now and, and look at it and see how many different uh, tones of gray there are on just a garage or a patio. Well, when you stain that like a dark terracotta or even just a clear on that and then put a gloss finish on it, it's going to really bring out that variation, which is the appeal for a lot of folks. But mm -hmm. if, if high color variation is not something that you're very, very comfortable with, we we recommend against stained concrete. But yeah, that is, so in short, the pamphlets are kind of a guideline for colors. Um, Jennifer is asking how thick we can go with the countertops, um, how thick the granite and quartz are. So yeah, these are three centimeter, uh, which is inch and three sixteenths. Here's your fun fact of the day. Well, there you go. And um, then she also is curious if we do cement countertops. So not that I know of. Um, I'm not going to say that we haven't ever done it. Um, I happen to know the contractor who that, that is what he does. Actually, his are more remodels, so they, it's, it's concrete overlay. Um, so I know that that's a thing. Uh, I just don't know that we have a, a ready, steady vendor ready to go for that. So that's something we'd want to look into for your specific area and make sure that we can find a trustworthy vendor that's going to perform. Okay. Vanessa is asking about your deco tiles. She's very excited that we showed those. And how much more of an upgrade is the deco tile for half baths and a kid's bathroom? So they vary in, in price. Um, they're pretty broadly, actually. And they're kind of, I may have the, the pulled up in the, in the price book there. Okay. Um, but the, the levels, I think they're somewhere between, they're usually designed to be kind of accent pieces, like a band around a shower or on the shower floor. I think I had on one of the pages I was on was the mosaic tile. But um, suffice to say, a half bath is a great area, something like that. A kid's bath is usually pretty small. Like a kid's bathroom is usually like maybe five by eight, so 40 square feet. Um, so if, if it's, it's sometimes between 30 and you know $50 a square foot if you're doing true mosaic, but there's other variations we can do that are, that are more in the $12 to $15 per square foot range um, for mosaic. So it's going to vary. It varies quite highly, so I would, mm -hmm. I would highly recommend you make an appointment, come in, take a look at exactly which one, and get some specific pricing. So it looks like, um, I'm not sure which level we're talking about, um, but on a mosaic wall tile, um, it's going to range from about $30 to $51 from a level one to a level three. Yeah, and that's usually pretty um, small. That's per like square a, foot. Like a six-inch band. Yeah, very so small, very small area. area. Two, two to three hundred bucks, probably, on something like that. 
but on the floor, it's it's a little bit different animal, and and mm -hmm. the, you can't necessarily use a well, you can't use a something that's really designed to be a wall tile only on the floor because um, it's not made up to, to stand to that, that kind of pressure. So we'd want to find you an actual proper, and you can't see it on these, but I can bring it to you and show you some of these. Um, a lot of these tiles have little mosaics um, that match up to them. And uh, so we've, we've done those several times for, for customers. And so um, <clears throat> that's a level one shower floor tile, but we'd want to um, get it priced out properly for your bathroom floor tile. Perfect. Carolyn says we sound really good. Oh, good. Thanks, Carolyn. What other questions do we have? Guys, appreciate so much asking these um, questions. That yes, Lance is asking if it is an upgrade to go with all tile vinyl plank flooring with no carpet. So yes, uh, vinyl plank or tile, either one are gonna cost more than carpet. Uh, so if your average you know, 2,000 square foot house has probably 1,600, 15, 1,600 square foot of carpet. So you're probably looking about two to three bucks a square foot at, just for your level one vinyl or tile instead of your in lieu of carpet and, and carpet pad. Right. Is that about right? Sounds good. Sounds good. Yeah. Um, Kristen is asking what level of tile is that marble look porcelain that you That's were showing? It's a level seven. Level seven. Um, well, actually, great. there's a few that are level five, level seven. Yeah, the, the glossy ones are the level seven uh, floor tile. They're a porcelain tile. They're really thick, too. I was comparing that to so they're a porcelain tile, but they're almost twice as thick as this wood look porcelain tile that's this next to them. Everyone's saying they can hear us great. Oh, good. Um, let's see. I'm waiting on David Bibiano to give us if he can hear us or not. That's, I know. I don't know if David's tuning in today. It's okay. It's David's okay. our videographer guy, so we, we rely on him to tell us yeah, how so we're doing. Yeah, so all the really cool YouTube He's the videos. actual professional. That's true. But we just try to get the same equipment he uses and maybe it'll make us as good. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. It doesn't work that way. <laughs> Turns out if you buy a, a, a Stratocaster guitar, you can't necessarily play like Air Clapton. Who knew? We tried. Yeah. Uh, Dominica is asking, are we able to add metal buildings 20 by 30 or pour the concrete in the future spot where the building would go? So we've definitely poured the concrete for where the building would go. We've done that before. And, and again, we've also included allowances for customers to have that done during the process. So it can be included in the loan amount if it fits in the loan. So if the appraisal will allow for it. So the appraisal has to come in a little bit higher to allow it to put a you know, 20 or 30 or $50,000 metal building uh, into the loan amount as well. Great question. Well, we've done that both ways. Uh, a friend over on YouTube is asking, can we explain the process for getting to construction after getting approval from the lender? Yeah, so um, I'll explain the process once you go under contract, because um, some of our folks get, get kind of pre-approved from a lender, um, but that doesn't necessarily, that's not final approval. So, and then you can't get final approval until we go to contract because that lender is gonna want a copy of the contract, a copy of the plans, a map, um, and, and all the thing, any, any change orders that are done to go in the loan amount. They have to have copies of all that documentation. And so the process is you, you come in, figure out what design you want, get it priced out with the amenities that you're looking at, what type of floor, all that kind of good stuff. And then we get a price and we do a contract or, or conditions of sale. Uh, we do a promissory note, mechanics lien. We, we do a full set of plans for you. Our directing department does a full set of plans, front, side, rear elevations, floor plan, electrical plan, cabinet detail, all of it. We're gonna stake the home out on your property. So we're gonna meet you out at the site. You're gonna tell us about where you want the house. We're gonna help you lay it out. Hey, we think the septic's gonna be over here. Power's gonna come in from over here. Looks like water's gonna come in this way. Here's your view out the cover porch. Is this what you had in mind? Okay, cool, check, mark that. And then depending on where you're building, we may have to submit some of those things to a city, a subdivision, uh, an architect control committee. But regardless, we're gonna order soil test at that point in time, geotechnical investigation. So the engineer's gonna come out, evaluate the site in some way, shape, or form, depending on where you are in Texas, it varies. And then they're going to take those results back to the engineering firm in Austin, Texas, and the engineer is going to design a foundation specifically for that. It's usually while you're picking your colors out or sending all your final documentation off to your lender, your last two years of W-2s, last 30 days pay stubs, income, uh, your, your tax returns if you're not W-2. All that stuff is happening concurrently. We're also going to be applying with the 
get, getting a septic design done, applying to the county for the septic permit and then the building permit. Um, so all that stuff's happening after you sign a contract before we start construction. So that once we have final loan approval, permits from whatever county, city, subdivision, POA or ACC approval, you've done all your color selections, you've signed off on a full set of plans, you completed your stakeout appointment, and we've taken care of any other ancillary items that we need before construction, and then we go to construction. Average time's about 120 days from the time that you sign a contract to the time that you are going to construction. Perfect. I hope that walks through. All right. Barbie has a question on whether we require a certain ratio of living area square foot versus non-living area square foot. No, we do not. Um, we don't have a ratio at all. Uh, I will tell you that, that... Your mortgage company probably has an opinion. They might, uh, yeah. As they far might. as the appraisal goes. It, yeah, it's really going it, to... The appraisal is going to bear that out. Yeah. Um, if, if uh, you know, obviously, so, so case in point for those folks who don't know what she's asking about, let's say that you had you know, 1,500 square feet of living area, but also 1,500 square feet of covered porch. Okay, so that'd be like a 50-50 ratio of living area uh, to, to non-living area. And, and that 1,500 square feet of covered porch, to give you an idea, I think the LaSalle are, you know, we'll just say 30, well, 2,900 square foot. If you do the one story, 36, 3,800 square foot. If you do the two story, it's got like 650 or 700 square feet of covered porch and about 700 square feet of garage. So let's call it 3,000 square feet of living area and like 1,400 square feet of non-living area. Um, so that's going to appraise a little bit better than like a 50-50 or certainly if there was more non-living area space than there was living area. Um, but if you can qualify for the loan or, or you're willing to come in with more of a down payment than the appraisal will allow for, then it doesn't really matter to us. Great. Um, Nate is asking how the stained concrete, well, polished concrete, sorry, is priced in comparison to other levels, and which application have we seen used the most? It's pr we use stained concrete that's got a, a kind of a clear coat of, of a finish on there is what we see uh, applied the most. It's about, it's, a, it's just a little bit more than like your level one tile, about the same actually as your, as yeah. your level one tile. A little, actually, it's less than level one tile, I think, but certainly more than carpet. So it's kind of between there, closer to So if to you the, do the whole house, it kind of evens out. Yeah, but yeah, it'd be, it'd be closer to the tile price, um, or your level one tile price uh, is what stained concrete would be. And we use, we typically see, we don't just polish it, we typically see it stained, because someone wants some, this wants some kind of a color, right? They want terracotta or brown, or maybe kind of a, a, a grayish green type of look. We find very few people that just take the concrete gray like it is and clear coat and polish it. That's, that's not something, it's very an industrial, commercial, or a modern look, and that's not what most of ours are. Oh, can be done. Um, Richard is asking if Tilson can find land for them anywhere and build on it. So Tilson doesn't find the land. Um, you'd be you'd need to find the piece of property. So landsoftexas.com is a great website. You can sort it by county. You can sort it by price point. You can sort it by, uh, you can filter it by land size. Uh, so it's a very, very helpful website. You can actually even sign up for alerts where it'll let you know, you know, when something in your area that fits your criteria comes onto the market, comes onto the MLS. What other questions do we have? You guys are doing great today. Lots yes, of questions. Dude, we have lots of great. questions. Um, Maria is asking, which is the most popular home that we build? Oh, I think it's the it's either Gonzalez or the Angelina. It's, it, it's, it's very close. Yeah, it kind of is doing. So the, the Gonzalez, by month, the Angelina, really. and the San Jacinto are, mm -hmm. in any given month, the, the, the most popular home. Followed by the Driftwood Cypress. I was going to say, if you would combine the, the Driftwood and the Cypress, which are basically sister plans. They are. are. Okay. They're very much the same. So the Cypress is basically the Driftwood without a garage. Mm -hmm. If you were to combine those two, that one's going to be right there in the hunt. Maybe it may be knockout number one. So your, your Driftwood, close. Cypress, San Jacinto, Angelina, Angelina. Gonzalez, yeah. those are there's kind of your top five. Now, um, do they all look alike? Not even close. Yeah, do they even look like what we designed? Not, not even yeah. close. It's customized. They look like what you designed. That's right. Um, Jen is asking if we have stone backsplashes. I would think for a stone, we would go with these. Yeah, it would be, it would be some kind of a man-made product. Yep, something like that. We'd this do is some... heavy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this, this one means business. Um, so yeah, these are some of the different things you could do. Um, and also, Dow Tile has some, some natural stone product that, that uh, we could probably steer you towards as well. But um, yeah, this, this is done a lot of times on backsplashes, sometimes even the, uh, 
on interior walls, like your stone arches and your, mm -hmm. and your um, kitchens and things like that. But this is also a good option if um, you want a stone fireplace, but there's no stone on the exterior of your home because our stone vendor does have a minimum um, amount of stone that they'll deliver. So this is a good option if you don't want to meet that minimum. Yeah, great, great point. Thanks for asking. Please no one else ask about interior stone stuff. <laughs> it's very heavy. It's going to stay right there on the floor. <laughs> what other questions do we have? Vanessa is asking about cabinet hardware. Oh. Um, can we show what's available and if there's a style we want, you know, can they provide them instead of using ours? Well, we, we, we are currently overhauling our cabinet hardware program. So we have some over here. They're, some are current, some are not. So the best thing to do is make an appointment at the design center, come by and take a look because we're, we're working on it right now, revamping it with different types of pulls, mm -hmm. uh, single knob, lever, uh, um, pull knobs, all kinds of things that we can offer. So, All right. And I cannot find the comment right now, but I know that someone was asking about carpet. So let's move to that and then we will circle back to the rest of the questions. Okay. Um, I just want to make yep. sure that we show Absolutely. So, everything we are planning to show. So yeah, here's, our, our, here's carpet. A lot of folks like carpet because it is a great sound deadening uh, material because it's going to go over a pad, of course. So we do offer different, um, always standard carpet in various levels. I think all the way up to level five carpet. So levels one through five, level one being what's included. Dawn's grabbing the carpet pads right now. Um, and the pad can really increase the longevity of your carpet, particularly in the rural areas in which we build that have mm -hmm. quite a bit of sand. Um, you'll find that the pad actually wears out before the carpet does. So Yes. Um, if, if, if we don't do a real thorough job all the time of, of vacuuming um, weekly, sometimes twice a week, depending on how filthy the kids are when they come in. More than the Roomba? Yeah, more than the Roomba. The Roomba, yeah. I think it's good. It's a good cat irritating device. I like it. Um, <laughs> so there are different, obviously lots of different colors that have different fleck in them. Um, we have solid colors. We have ones that are, like I said, this has like kind of a fleck in it. We have a standard um, three eighths, uh, five pound pad, and then we have very we have a half inch, and then we have a uh, another that's got a level three, a half inch pad that's got kind of a membrane on it uh, for stain protection and, and different things like that. And this really does a better job of not letting sand get through. Um, and I will say, if you are looking to upgrade your carpet, always upgrade the pad before you look at the carpet. It's just it makes your carpet last longer, and it makes a lot more of a difference than the carpet itself. Yeah, and then we have, of course, lots of other, and you really just have to feel these. Like, they don't, can you feel it through the, through the camera? Not Here, I'll feel it for you. Feel, see, Ooh. it's different. It's very different. It's very different. So, um, make an appointment, come by and see them, because there's there are lots of different ones, and they do have a different feel to them. Mm -hmm. I actually kind of like carpet. I do. Carpet's always nice and warm. It's warm. Like, it's I, I know that the hard floors are supposed to be better for your allergies. My father-in-law is an allergist, and he fusses at me for having carpet in my bedrooms, but. Well, I'm going to get fussed at regardless, so I might as well have what I want. That's why you don't work with family. I do work with family. That's why you shouldn't work with family. <laughs> what else? We want to talk uh, about some of the woods? Yeah, so we've got some of our different vinyl planks. Um, this is a level three, but we showed you the level one and two, I think, already. Mm -hmm. So level three, all it really changes is it, it changes uh, the thickness of the vinyl plank itself. So it's really kind of hard to see in the camera, but um, it's all going to be kind of a snap together vinyl plank. We also offer. And this is nice because if something happens, you can replace just a plank. It's um, true. Um, then we have varying levels of wood. So this is what we call, what we're referred to in the industry as an engineered wood product, which is big fancy words for it's plywood. Um, so plywood is it's good. Now this is going to be glued down to the slab, whereas um, pretty well all of your vinyl plank is what's known as a floating floor. So it's going to be um, just snapped together and has a little bit of a different sound. I know you got to get over here for, for Shrek. I don't fit in the frame all the time. Um, <laughs> don't worry, it just cuts my hair off. It's no big deal. It's fine. Um, but the wood floors, is a, it's a really beautiful look. It's a real solid sound, solid feel. It, it does. It is going to have a little bit higher propensity to scratch if you have large dogs. Mm -hmm. Real regular yip yip dogs aren't going to hurt it, but large, large dogs. Not as good with water. Right, yep. <laughs> Not as good with water. Um, but it is a beautiful beautiful product and then of course we have a Lots river ridge which is by far and away our most popular oh, get out of order and mess up. all Alice right yeah, big trouble uh the neat thing about the vinyl plank also is that most of them have kind of this 
highly water resistant membrane on the back side. You can't, there's kind of a cushion on that and it's, um, oh. it gives a little bit of soft and sound deadening to it, but also prevents uh, water from, from destroying it in short order. I mean, I wouldn't leave water standing in there for three or four days, but um, it's definitely gonna be more resilient to water than either carpet with pad or engineered wood. So is that a little softer on your legs than- A little bit, yeah, sure is. Ah. sure is. Good to know. All right, let's see what else have we got. Um, Ephraim is asking, even without financing just yet, is it possible to still move forward with Tilson Homes? We would like to fund the earnest money and have a site visit scheduled. Is this possible? So when we're gonna do, we're gonna, we, first of all, we don't do earnest money. We do non-refundable deposits. Um, uh, earnest money, you can you can get back deposits. You Our deposit, you only get back once the house is completely finished and you close. Um, and that deposit goes towards those closing costs on the HUD one statement at the end. Um, so it's not earnest money, but what we typically do require is that you be in a financial position, at least within the next 30 days to, to would you be able to be approved for a home mortgage? So if that is the case, then, then you'd be in a position where you can move forward, but, um, it isn't going to be something where we would want to go under contract now, but you weren't going to be in a position for another six to eight months financially to, to do that. Uh, so because first of all, a lot of the stuff may change in the next six months, certainly pricing is going to change. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's, and, and interest rates potentially, mm -hmm. um, could change. So, um, that's not something we ordinarily do, but reach out, make an appointment at a design center and they can easily walk you through and they can tell, um, whether or not you're, you're ready to get going or not. They're not going to put someone on, on contract, not going to take your money. Um, if, if, if they're not prepared to move that football down the field, so to speak. So we, we just don't do that to people. Okay. Great question. Thank you for asking that. Vanessa has a question about appliances. Um, what is the standard range size, a four burner or a five burner? And what is the upgrade cost for a gas six burner range? I just recently did this for a customer. So I know the, the oh, six burner. Good size. We did an Electrolux Icon six burner cooktop. Um, and it was about $1,800, I think, more than our. In this case, it was a 36 inch electric. So this house already came with a 36 inch. So the answer to your question is, it varies by design. Most of them are gonna come with a 30 inch range. If it's a range, it's gonna be a 30 inch range. So our floor plans come with a 36 inch cooktop. Um, and then, so depending if you wanna to upgrade to 36, that is, it's usually four burner, going back to that question. Okay. It's typically four burner, whether it's 30 inch or 36 inch, those are typically four burner. Um, and then some of the 36s are going to be five and then to get into a six burner, there's, there's really, really actually very few, um, six burner, uh, until you get into that Electrolux icon and your sub zeros, your Vikings, your wolf, that kind of stuff. It's get more like a professional commercial yeah, it is, kitchen. Definitely, yeah. mm -hmm. <laughs> and along the lines of appliances, Kimberly is saying that her appliances have to be wolf and there's no negotiating on that. Um, how would she go about doing that? Give us the give us the ones that you want, and uh, it's your pocketbook, not mine. So if that's what you want to do, we can we can get after it. Um, I will tell you that knowing a lot about appliances, many of the parts are manufactured in all the same place, uh, the, the the insides, the the guts, the modules, the uh, components. So, uh, but if if the the retail the wholesaler that we use does carry Wolf, and they can get pricing on Wolf and Sub Zero. Perfect. The arena is asking if they're paying cash, how does that process work? You just make it out to Eric Allard at Tiffany. <laughs> so you, uh, no, that's a lot of our customers, we have to do about, about uh, almost 20% of our customers pay cash. So one in five are a cash customer. And the way that does work is uh, we take six throughout the process. First of all, you get, a, you get a discount on the base price of the home for paying cash from Tilson. Uh, and also you're not going to have any kind of closing costs from a lender. So uh, costs ordinarily associated with closing with a lender about three to three and a half percent, depending on which lender you choose. If you're a cash customer, you wouldn't have those. So it all, it all, it all ends up being about 5% worth of savings um, to do cash and a little bit shorter on time period because you're cutting out an entire party. Uh, so there's no appraisal you need to worry about. You're, you don't have to worry about getting uh, underwriting from a lender. Um, all that kind of good stuff. So you typically we would do, we would take a cash down payment once we're ready to start construction. So right before you're released to construction, we take 35% um, down payment then. And then we take 15% after the slab is poured, another 15% at the uh, frame stage, another 15% at the uh, trim stage, and then another 5% when the house is completely finished and you close and 
and I've done your walkthrough, homeowner orientation, you're all satisfied and move in. I think that comes up to 100%. Maybe I want to double check my math. But. If not, um, Arena Jerry can help you with the math. Perfect. Okay. Basically, you get a discount because we're using your money to build a house as opposed to Tilson's money like we are on a loan. Yeah. Um, Elise is following up on her um, having her well and septic included into the mortgage. Um, they have not uh, selected those contractors, but once they do, can they invoice Tilson instead of the homeowner directly if construction has already started? Great question. So the answer to that one is going to be no. They're going to because you're you're making the deal with them, so they are your contractor. They're contracting with you. Uh, you're paying their cost, and so but you can still give us those invoices, and it's going to be a little bit faster turnaround than once you're in construction. It's a it's a much faster turnaround for the money. Most of these companies are, are net 15 at the earliest or net 30. So you get the well put in, they give you an invoice, you give us the invoice, we go verify that the well is in fact installed and is operating, which is important. And uh, we can typically get a check turnaround pretty quick. Um, okay. But okay. great question. It will be contracted with you, the homeowner. You're contracting that person. All right. Vanessa is asking about our light fixtures. We ac I accidentally skipped your question. Sorry, guys. We are getting a lot more questions. We got a lot so of questions on this one. If I did skip your question, please we will drop be it doing back this in. Again. And we also go back in and try to answer them all afterwards. So I promise we will try to answer your question. Um, but showing some of our lighting packages. Um, so I've just kind of done a, a sample of those so that you guys can see them. So this is our level one collection, and all of our lightings, um, with the exception of the wood ones, are available in either the brushed nickel or this um, ru oil rubbed bronze. Um, so you can get them in either color, and I've kind of gone back and forth on these slides that I've prepared um, for those. And so this is the level one, that's called the Metcalf. This is the level two, and I'm just showing kind of a selection of your bathroom vanities, your dining room chandeliers, your foyer, and then your regular hallway light. Um, so that's level two. And I'm just standing here. It's good. Okay, you want I to enjoy it. No, 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 I'm good right now. I'm up here with a bottle of water. I'll be back while you should. All right. Well, I will guess turn the camera back on me <laughs> so you guys can look at who's talking to you. Um, so our level three um, is called the Ellis Harper Collection. And that's what that looks like, a little bit more modern line to it. Um, level four is the Almore Park Collection. And then level five is my personal favorite, the Dunning collection, which is that combination of wood um, with your lighting. Very, very pretty. Um, we also have ceiling fan options because we, in, all your, in your living room and all of your bedrooms, you're going to have a ceiling fan included. It's a 52 inch ceiling fan. So your base level um, one fan is gonna look like this. Again, available in the oil rubbed bronze or in the um, brushed nickel. And then the level two, it's just a little bit more fancy. Again, a 52 inch um, available in both colors. And then on the exteriors, we have a few things that you can choose from. So these are your options um, in the level one, they're gonna come in the black. Um, and then floodlights are an option that you can add um, to the home. And then on your level two, there's a bunch of different options. You can have the black or the um, oil rubbed bronze on those and some different, different finishes. So when you come into the design center, they can show you a little bit more of your options and talk through where these go. Um, and that's really, that's, that's our lighting packages. Thank you, Dawn, for You're preparing welcome. that. Let's see what other questions we have. Let's what other back questions do we have? What's, no, 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 no. All right. Wonderful. Let's see. Wayne is asking if we do butcher block cabinets. We actually don't. Sorry, countertops. Yeah, we don't have a we don't have a vendor. I knew where he was going. But yeah, we don't have a vendor for for butcher block. They do require. We actually just had a customer in here a second ago, before we started. That was talking about she actually was shopping butcher block and was told it's a significant amount of maintenance. It is. You've got to oil it. Seemingly, yeah. So it's not something that, that we have a vendor for. Um, not to say that it could never happen, but that's not something we have a, a ready vendor available for. Um, Ephraim and Marsha are asking if we can build the LaSalle and its casita in Delta County, Texas. Delta County. Okay, we'd want to go check and make sure. I know that's Northeast Texas. Um, I don't know that we have that one in there, but you can see from the website most likely if, yeah. if that's one. But um, if it's on our website, if you've gone on our website and see its counties where we build, we could definitely do it. Um, and if not, what we can do, what we typically do with one, if it's close by, we reach out to our vice, pres vice president of construction in that area, and that would be Nick Yates, 
in that area, we'd reach out to Nick, um, find out. Because what we, what we really want to do is make sure that we have um, a someone, you know, a, a builder that, that has got the bandwidth to do a project like that in an area and make sure we have a trade base in that area that we can, um, we can make that happen for you. Delta County is a yes. And Delta County is a yes. So absolutely. And you guys should go to the website and get, and get pricing on that LaSalle in Delta County. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm looking through. Um, Zach is asking, he knows it's going to vary quite a bit, but what is the ballpark cost for a well septic in Washington County? Oh, um, so Washington County, your septic system, you're going to run between uh, $7,000 to $10,000 on a septic. I happen to know in Washington County, the, the folks that oversee uh, septic permitting there push very hard for conventional systems, which is interesting because uh, most most counties go the other way. They push hard for aerobic. Um, so conventional cost a little less. They There's not a lot of vendors that go in and still do conventional systems. So um, usually in the, the, the seven to $9,000 range, I would say about 9,000 bucks, you're gonna be set. That gets you a good aerobic system for up to four bedroom home, three bath, you know, 500, 750 gallon per day, no problem. And then on a conventional, you know, if it's a big enough piece of property, I'd be more comfortable with it. Usually on a small like acre or less, really acre and a half or less, I'd highly recommend the aerobic, not, not going conventional. But, uh, and then on the water well, that can vary quite a bit uh, in Washington County, because it's going to be, you know, depending on depth, you know, it, it is the Brazos Valley. The Brazos River is not far from there, but um, in some cases you get a good, nice, big aquifer to pull from for many, many, many years. Uh, you could have to go 250, some, in some cases, 400 feet down. So it's going to range in price from probably your, your nine to $12,000 range for, for a water well in Washington County, which folks in Hill Country are like, wow, that would be awesome. But <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's significantly more as you go out, out further west. Yeah, the more rough you get, the, yeah. the tougher it is. Let's see. Great question. Thanks for asking. Um, Richard is asking if we can build a driftwood in Pflugerville. Yes, and yes, we certainly can. And there's actually one not very far from, if you're in the Pflugerville area, our driftwood model is just up the road in, uh, in Georgetown, kind of right where 130 and I-35 meet together. In fact, directly underneath where 130 and I-35 meet together. Let's see. Um, Rachel is asking how difficult it is to get a Tilson home built if there's an existing structure like a mobile home where they want the new home to be. So, yeah, I mean, obviously the mobile home would have to be gone. Um, and it could be moved. If you're going to tend to live in that mobile home while we're building it, you'd need to, you know, just move it somewhere else on the property or have it completely hauled off and the disconnects need to be done. So obviously we can't build not only where the structure is currently, but over any of the things that are there. So we have to make sure the septic system is not underneath, but it's, I mean, we have a lot of customers that they were living in a mobile home at the site. They want to build the home there and they have to get the mobile home off of there. Now, where you're going to live in the interim uh, may be a challenge. We have folks that live in a camper or a fifth with in-laws or they rent an apartment or they rent a home in town while we build the home. Um, so, but no, it's not, it's not a difficult thing. It's, it has to be gone. Obviously if it's right okay. where you want the, the new home to be, which is not uncommon. Yeah. That makes sense. We can't really build over it. We can typically build within, we really, construction is going to kill me for this. <laughs> then don't say it. We'd like it to be, we'd like to be, at least 10 feet away from the existing structure. We'd really like a little more than that. We've done it less than that. It is a challenge. It's a struggle. Um, it takes a little more TLC. It takes a little more time um, because everything we do is stick built. They're custom built. There's no prefab trusses or anything like that. Like we don't show up with cranes and modules. Like it's done. Every every board is cut by hand and um, with a saw. You know, yeah. You there are hands involved. <laughs> but anyway. Um, Hopefully not near the saw. But No, 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 no. That's um, Vanessa is asking about the price range difference in the levels of lighting. Do you happen to know those? I don't have it offhand, no. But, okay. Um, we've, we've got it in the design centers, and uh, it's actually not a whole lot. I think you may, I may have the same as one pulled up. Um, the, the, I'll go run over from that and go to Yeah, the, I tried to see if I could find lighting, but go to I'm not cart, as good at the price book. A little cart. And then go, oh, yeah, that's not the right one. Trying to try that one there. Go to cut cart, see what happens. Yeah, it's, it's, we're going to have to. It doesn't like to, me. Yeah, no, it does like you. It likes you a lot. But it's good. <laughs> we're going to have to uh, price it out at the design center. They're, they don't vary as much as like countertops. I mean, it's, it's not 
thousands and thousands of dollars. They, they don't vary quite that much. Okay. Um, Rosemary is asking, what happens if for some reason you get pre-qualified, but then the mortgage company doesn't give you the pre-approval? Um, well, that would be rare, but I guess it could happen. So the to us, pre-qualified and pre-approval is one and the same thing. Um, now there's pre-qualified and pre-approval, and then there's final approval or the loan approval, uh, fully underwritten approval, takeout letter, commitment letter, those all kind of mean the same thing. Um, and and fortunately for you, we are not going to start construction until we get that final loan approval. So fully underwritten, the appraisal's done, you've given them all the documentation they asked for, it's gone to underwriting and they've had to underwrite and review everything, it meets all the Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac guidelines for conventional FHA, VA, uh, whichever program that you're doing, and then we either get that loan approval or, or you're not going to tell you what steps you need to take to get that loan approval, but we won't start construction until um, the customer has loan approval. That so that this situation doesn't do not have a house halfway built and they don't have a way to pay for it. Yeah. That's not fun for anybody. Vanessa is asking on an upstairs bonus room. Um, if they don't want any carpet upstairs, can LVP be put uh, put upstairs? Yes, it can. Yes. Can yep. it be put on stairs? It can some of them can be put on stairs. Yeah, the ones that have trim pieces to go with it can be put on stairs. It's actually a little bit higher price to put it upstairs because uh, we have to use a different type of underlayment. Okay. Not going on slab. It can absolutely be done. You bet. So Ephraim is asking um, if, it, if they're two years from building um, and they contract the earnest fee up front, um, would Tilson be willing to schedule a site visit pre-construction meeting? Yeah, not, not two years out, Ephraim. I, I appreciate your honesty and your candor um, mm -hmm. and transparency, but that's not one that we're going to be able to, to do that right away. Um, we we'll go ahead and tell you to go ahead and wait, wait about a year. Um, we'll wait about nine to 10 months and start, and, and start the process then. Uh, we can come out and, and help you out with that. Great question. All right. Um, Vanessa has a follow-up question on the stairs. Is it possible to put no carpet and just have them painted when the interior is painted? Probably not going to do that. And the reason is because it's not it's not like tube of twelves like the old days. We're using uh, an Advantech product, um, and I've forgotten the name of it. But uh, Zip Floor, I think. Anyway. Um, it's a, it's OSB, it's oriented strand board. It's an inch and an eighth thick, it's tongue and groove. So it, it, it's not a product that you would want to finish. It's, it's not pretty. It's, exactly. It's not pretty. It's phenomenal for subflooring. Um, no squeaking, no rubbing together. It's, it's thicker than, um, most builders use three quarter inch. We use inch and an eighth thick. So, uh, but it's not something that's prepared to be finished. Good question. Okay. Great question. Becky has another great question. Um, who are our financial lenders and can they chat with them for questions about financing prior to making their decision on a home? Yes, and we encourage you doing so. So uh, we have two that we use on a very regular basis. One is AMCAP Mortgage, um, a gentleman named Matt Howe, who we use quite a bit. And uh, then another one is be Stephanie Morgan with CMG Financial. So that's Stephanie Morgan with CMG Financial or Matt Howe with AMCAP Mortgage, and we can probably stick links to both yeah, sites. we can put links um, in, in the comments um, after this. And we're not affiliated with them in no, any way. Yeah, um, yeah. It's just they're our preferred lenders because they are so familiar with our process. Yeah, um, yeah. So there's no, just goes a there's lot no financial simple. relationship there whatsoever. Uh, we've been there and done that and bought that T-shirt and uh, we're out of the mortgage game. Yes. Uh, Nubia is asking if we recommend heated floors. Not really. Uh, in this part, we've got, we've, we've, I've seen customers do it uh, very rarely. Uh, with not, not with radiant heat, which is where PEX was born, actually, over in Europe. Different topic for a different day. Uh, but I've seen it done with electric heat under under tile, but for the most part, it's not, you know, in our part of the world, it just doesn't get that cold, um, or it's something that that's completely sense. necessary. Um, Amy Marie is asking if vinyl plank is okay to install in bathrooms. Sure. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Um, I just redid an entire house up in Great Plain, Texas with bottle plank in the bathroom. Everyone. Wayne is very excited. He just signed a contract on an Angelina. All right, Wayne. Well, that's awesome. Thank you. Thanks for trusting us. We appreciate that. Let's see. Does the cover, Richard is asking if the covered vaulted roof come with a back patio on the driftwood model? Um, well, it, it's, I believe that it does. Yeah. So double check and make sure that it's not one of the custom options real quick, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that it comes with that vaulted ceiling. I don't think it comes with the um, real soffit that we've put on the model there, but. Yeah, uh, not the real soffit. 
The dog's going to check real quick while she does that. I just want to reach out again and thank everyone you all for tuning in and watching these things. We really hope that they're hanging in with us. Yeah, very helpful. And yeah, it's going to have the cathedral ceiling. Yes, because... the cathedral ceiling is included um, in both the covered porch and the family room. Sure is. So great question. And thanks for asking that. Lupe is asking if fans are included on covered porches or if that would be something that would be an upgrade. So they're not typically included on the covered porch. We're not sure how many you want or where you want them, but yeah, they're, they're not very expensive to do, but we mm -hmm. do recommend that you select from our outdoor fan. Program. Yes, that will be a different fan than what I showed. We have special exterior fans to make sure that you're, you're not gonna have yeah. an issue with water and being outside. Correct. Um, Lisa is asking, what is the average price for additional feet of water and electrical service lines after the ones that are included in the home plan? Well, it, de it depends very much on where the house we built. So the range is quite a bit. Of course, 50 feet is already included. Um, and then, then it, it varies anywhere from $5 a foot to $16 a lineal foot, depending on, on where in the state that you're building. So uh, your, your sales counselor can walk you through that and give you the exact price. Then we have some specific pricing questions, guys. I'm going to advise you just, just for time, because um, we would have to take some time to look that up, to reach out to one of our design consultants yeah. um, to get pricing. Um, that someone's asking about the Goliad. Um, Cornell, you can actually look at the price of the Cypress on our website. So um, Kelsey, if you could drop him the link um, to see the starting price on the on the Cypress, that would be great. Um, no, Kelsey just, and Nick are helping us in the background, kind of replying to your you, comments. Thank you, Kelsey and Nick. And so anything you're seeing in text, that's them. Um, let's see, Rosemary is asking how many interior paint colors you are allowed. Um, I think offhand, I believe that it's two. It's one for the walls that she lives in different colors of trim. I know that's what's included, oh. but then you could pay, oh, wow. you could oh, pay more. To, yeah. Well, we can, I mean, you'll make it look like a checkerboard if you want to, if that's what you're after. No, we. We do offer accent wall colors. We can paint different colors of different rooms, but um, you can paint the ceilings different colors on the walls. That's not as much of a thing as it used to be. Mm -hmm. um, most designers we see these days, they add all one color palette for the walls and ceilings, maybe different on the trim, and then accent pieces with different stuff. So, but yeah, you, I mean, you're kind of not really limited on this. Something we didn't really show was the short layers. Not that we need to open Pandora's box and we get more colors. We have the whole color wheel, guys. Um, Jennifer is asking if we do the interior paint in a finish other than flat, like do we offer an eggshell or a satin? We do. We offer eggshell and um, I wouldn't go any more than that. They, there are some people that make semi-gloss for interior. It's, uh, it's an interesting look, particularly with recessed LED lighting. It really shines badly. But yeah, eggshell uh, satin is something mm -hmm. that, that we do offer and I, and I recommend it. I think it's a great product. Yes. Very durable. Um, Vanessa is asking on cabinets, um, back from when we did the video in the San Jacinto and we pulled the cabinet out all the way, um, you said it was standard in some models. Do we know if they are standard in the Fayetteville or the Canyon? So actually the full extension drawer glides in the kitchen are standard in all homes that we build. And then in the bathrooms, because it's a different, actually it's a different depth of cabinet in bathrooms. Mm -hmm. Most folks don't know that, but uh, it doesn't come out, it's not full extension. So, but all kitchen drawers are going to be full extension. Now, uh, she maybe talk about some of the different features. I think she's talking about the pull-out shelves. So there's pull-out shelves that we have, and there's also tilt-out trays in there. So, um, again, get, I'd get with a sales consultant who can get a, a work copy in front of them. Um, yeah, I'm not sure on the Fayetteville. I know on the Canyon, those are not that those pull-out shelves are not going to be included. But it's a pretty affordable ad if, oh, yeah. if you want to do it. Yeah, it's like ninety bucks or something like that. It's not very. Martha is asking if we install solar panels or would those be done after purchase? Those be done after purchase, yeah. We don't have a vendor for, for solar. And make sure you make space for the batteries too if you're going to do something like that. Good, good tip. Charlotte is asking, they actually live in Georgia, and is there any way to set up a stakeout of their property and their color selections in the same visit? Yes, we can. I, uh, it might be tough to do that on the same day. It might be overwhelming for you. We're, we're good to go. There's two different people that will be doing that, but that might be a lot to do for you in, in one day. So if you're staying overnight, that might be something. But yeah, we get, if you're coming in from out of state, we'll absolutely make that uh, accommodation. Um, let's see. Jen and Ray are asking how many standard outdoor plugs are included and what does it cost to add them? It's usually two or three that are going to be included no matter what. And then I don't have the, the pricing in front. Like, sorry, guys, I'm not. I'm not at my desk this time. Yes. To have all the, the pricing available, and I have I have lots of stuff in my head, but uh, some of it has left me. 
But that's some of it is left from off the head. Definitely something our consultants can help you with. Yeah, they have all that pricing in front of them. All right, and that is our last question. Oh, thank you all so Thank you, much. everyone, for joining us. Yeah, Dawn, you. you did a great job. Thank you for doing you this. Nook and, Nook and Kelsey, thank you for doing this. Yes, everybody, thanks thank for you watching. Um, and we will do another one next week. And we have a pretty interesting one coming, not just next week, but maybe even after that at an on-site location. So yes. stay tuned for that. Vanessa, we are trying to, to go to our cabinet company, and then we'll, we'll have more specific cabinet yes. answers for you. We're going to make that happen. But anyway, between now and then, we genuinely hope to soon make you part of the Tilson family. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye, everybody.